Hello everyone, this is Tatiana from Journal Time of Tea. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, and welcome back if you're returning. It's great to have you all. Um, so as you can tell, um, I have switched <laughs> planners again. Um, I'm not surprised. I'm sure some of you probably aren't surprised either, um, since I seem to be switching planners like constantly anymore. Um, I still can't seem to find a planner that is like just right for me. I'm still kind of working through that. Um, so yeah, I am no longer in the Hobonichi weeks. I could not make that work for me like I thought. I just, I don't know, I cannot wrap my brain around the Monday Star monthly calendars. I tried so hard um, to do that and I couldn't. And I also tried doing redating um, to make it a Sunday Star monthly calendar and it just it ended up being a lot more work than I thought it was going to be, so I just scrapped it entirely. And um, I wanted to find a planner that was going to be cheap um, and in the layout that I wanted it to be in, which was a Sunday Start um, monthly calendar and a Monday Start weekly calendar. I don't know why that works for me, but <laughs> that's the only thing I can get to work for me. Um, and so I was just looking at random planners on Amazon, like a pocket planner on Amazon, and I came across this one right here. And I fell in love with the cover because um, I just, I love this painting. And I thought that it was pretty cool that they made it into a cover for a planner. And so I picked it up. I think I spent maybe all of $9 total. I know it was definitely under $10 for this planner. Um, so, I don't know if it's true pocket planner size, um, like we would normally see in the community. Um, I'm not exactly sure what size a normal pocket planner is, but this one is just over three and a half inches it looks like, and for the width, and then not quite six and a half inches for the height. Um, like I said, I'm not sure what a true pocket planner size is but I looked up pocket planner on Amazon and this is what I came across. So I just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like on the inside and how I've been using it. And so far, so good. I like that it's compact and I can throw it in my purse super easy. Like it's even easier than the weeks to throw in my purse. Um, and I've been really enjoying that. So with it, I have a 0.38 Muji pen um, that I received from a friend. It has the pen loop that it came with, which I loved. It's got the built-in pen loop and it's got two ribbons, which I've been debating whether or not to cut off because I don't use the ribbons. I don't particularly care for them. And then of course it's got the elastic closure. It is a hard cover, which I like too, because I feel like the cover is gonna last a lot longer. Um, if I do end up staying in it for the year, <laughs> it should last all year. Um, so the inside cover here, uh, it was pretty plain um, underneath this. This is just like a cheap peel and stick wallpaper actually that I got from Dollar Tree like ages ago because I liked the design. It's like this cool little fern design um, and I covered up like a little uh, What do you call it like logo <laughs> that they had on here? I covered up the little logo on here. Um, I stuck in a Hobonichi Weeks pocket that I had extra and um, in it, I just have one of the little uh, gloomy cards from um, Megan Rhiannon's shop. And I have some sticky notes that have some to-dos on it and then days that I have put in for a vacation and stuff underneath it. I just wanna make sure, okay, good, you guys are still in shot. Um, on the next page, I just put in some stick, or excuse me, some stickers, yeah. I did put in some stickers, um, but some pictures from my Canon Ivy of my husband and I and our pup and our four kitties. Um, a little stamp here, just a little sticker. This covered another little logo here, and I liked the sticker, so I put that there instead. Um, then we get to the yearly overview. So it's got 2024, 2025, and then the holidays for the 2024 and 2025 year. And all I've done with the 2024 calendar is just highlight, I don't know how easy you can see it, but I just highlighted the days that I get paid um, because I get paid bi-weekly. And that's when I sit down and pay all of our bills for the house. Um, my husband gets paid weekly, but it's just easier for me to do it bi-weekly when I get paid. So I just marked my paydays and then I marked like 
kind of more important holidays like um, Daylight Savings Time, Mother's Day, Father's Day, and then when it ends and stuff like that. Because I can never remember <laughs> those dates. And then from there, the next page goes into like a contacts page so you can put down names, addresses, and phone numbers. I will probably never use this page, but it is pretty cool that they have included something like that in here because you can fit quite a bit of contacts on the, these two pages. And then from here, we will go right into the January monthly. Um, so like I said, this was a Sunday start, so um, I didn't have to do any redating or anything like that. Um, I have this little page marker. I cannot remember where I got it from. I want to say June Paper Market, I think. Um, it's been, I've had these for a while, so I can't remember. If I can find it, I'll link. But there are little rose gold page markers here. Um, these header, oh my goodness, these header strips are from Mandy Lynn Plans. They're actually ones that I bought for the Hobonichi Weeks, and I was really curious as if they would fit these, and they fit them perfectly. Um, I had gotten a couple different ones to use with the Hobonichi Weeks, and I'm very excited that they fit well with this little pocket planner so I can continue to use them and not waste them because they're so pretty and I love being able to use them. So with the monthlies, it has a little notes section off to the side. It's not very big, you're not gonna be able to fit very much, but it is nice to have. They've got the previous month and then the following month. And then um, of course they have the January month here. And what I'm using this for is the same as I use pretty much every monthly calendar for is um, just important events, um, appointments, um, you know, different things like that that I need to remember and plan in advance. Those are going to be on my monthlies. And that usually doesn't change no matter what planner I'm in. If there's a monthly, I just am tracking like events and stuff like that on there. And then from the month, we go right into the weeklies. So I got this planner, I think, um, on the 8th. So I just kind of backfilled this a little bit. But this is how I typically will be using my weekly planner. Um, I do all of my to-dos for the week right in here. So I'll write down things like, you know, grocery shopping, I needed to call the vet, um, paying bills and stuff like that. All of my to-dos will go in. The weekly and I like how much space that you have to fill it up like you can fit quite a bit of space on the week's um, pages the only thing I'm not really a fan of is how small they made Saturday and Sunday like some some weekends I do have a lot to put in there so it's it's hard not having the extra space but I figure if I ever run out I can always put it on like a sticky note or something to create that extra space and that's not a big deal but they do give you lots of space for the rest of the week from Monday through Friday to write down anything and I enjoy that so some days I have more than others you can see like Thursday the 18th I didn't have like anything this past Thursday to do and um, I usually will put like a little dot to signify that I have something and then I'll cross the dot when I've completed it. I'll put like a little arrow if I've rescheduled it. Um, and I've started something new. I've been putting like a little triangle. It kind of, might be hard to tell. I've been putting like a little triangle for events and appointments just so they kind of stand out a little bit because I've noticed that um, when I just use the dot like normal it kind of like blends in a little bit and I don't always see it very well so that is this week because today is the 21st that I'm filming this um, I didn't do much for next week so far I did put a little um, sticker down this weekend sticker was also for the Hobonichi weeks that just managed to fit perfectly in here and those ones are from pink pa pink daisy papery um, they were a freebie that she sent me and um, I love them. I think they're so cute. So I've been using those. And then from there we go into February. And I haven't set much up for February since we're not quite there yet. But I do have a few important things down to remember. Again, the headers are from Mandy Lynn Plans. I love them. Um, let me see if I can find. Because this is what the months look like without the headers on it. Which is so pretty. I like how simple and yet pretty and like muted the colors are. So they're not like 
you know, like slamming you in the face when you open up the book, I guess. Um, but that's how February looks. And then I did get a couple free, um, like little script stickers that I ended up setting up already for, um, the first like couple days in February and the end of January here that I thought were really cute and they fit perfectly in there. Um, so, and the rest of the weeks or the rest of the months are set up the same. You have the month and then you have the weeklies after. And honestly, I really enjoy this so far. I love the setup. I was thinking of putting little tabs on it because you can kind of see like the blue where they, the months start, but then the pen would get in the way and I don't want the tabs to get all messed up. So I think it's fine right now. If I need something else, I'll figure out something else. It does have a little pocket in the back here that I have been keeping some stickers in that I've been using. Um, so these little dot stickers and these little um, like dollar sign stickers are from Little TN Sticker Shop. Um, I shop her uh, shop quite often. She's on Etsy. Um, these little stickers are from Megan Rhiannon's shop. Um, I just made them really small. These are like, um, I think they were like a five by three, maybe a little bit smaller. I can't even remember what size I printed them at, but I love how they turned out. I printed them for the whole body two weeks, but again, they're perfect size to fit in my pocket planner. And then these were some, um, Sautelier stickers. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, which is little kitty cats. Cause I love kitty cats, but I keep those right in the little back pocket for easy access here because I use them quite often in my planner and they don't add like hardly any bulk. So I'm very excited to see where this little pocket planner is going to take me. Um, so far it's been really nice. It's the perfect size to just pick up and throw in my bag. It's hardcover. I shouldn't have to worry about the cover getting damaged at least not very easily <laughs> um and if i want to i can probably find a leather cover or something somewhere to put on it but as of right now i'm very content with um this pocket planner um i was journaling as well in the hobonichi weeks so i've stopped doing that and i've actually moved to a different journal let me go grab it hold on Okay, so as I said, I've stopped planning in the, or stopped planning in the Hobonichi weeks, so I've stopped journaling in the Hobonichi weeks, so I have moved into this really cute, um, standard size Archer and Olive notebook that I got, like, forever ago when they had them on sale. They were doing, like, a big sale on their website, and I'd never had the Archer and Olive notebooks before, so I decided to buy a couple and try, and I fell in love, um, so I moved into this for my journaling. It's just a dot grid notebook. Um, and so far it's been really nice. I'm not gonna show you anything cause this is my personal journal. Um, but yeah, that's what I have moved into my journal. So I'm currently in this for my journal and then this cute little pocket planner for my planner. And I, I don't know, I was really missing a hardcover notebook and I'm glad that these are both hardcover because it's just been like filling that like hole that I've had almost of wanting something hardcover. I like my leather covers and my note my traveler's notebooks and all that stuff my stylogies especially like you all know I love my stylogies at this point. Um so the hardcovers it was kind of nice to switch back into. But yeah, so there's a little flip through of the little pocket planner that I've currently moved into. We'll see how long this lasts. Um I'm just going to play it by ear. I'm not going to say that I'm going to, I hope to stay in it for a while. I'm not going to say that, um, I'm going to only be in it for a month, you know, like I'm just going to play it by ear and see where it takes me because I have been changing planners so frequently lately that I'm not confident that I will be in it very long, but who knows, but I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, if you made it for, to the end, thank you so much for watching and thank you for stopping by. Bye everyone.